the lazy girl era is over. It's 2024, I need to start doing my makeup again. I don't know what I was really wearing here. I couldn't find the normal thing that I put on my hair, so I'm just wearing a bandana. Um, slay girl, yes, tuck those ears out, you know. Or not. And now we're having a little dance break. Um, we're gonna be doing a makeup look today. And it's gonna be a little simple thing. So I'm gonna clean my skin with this cleansing micellar water. And then I'm gonna spray my skin with God knows what. Oh, that's French. Spanish, I have no idea. But I don't know what this does, but it does something. Next, I'm gonna go in with my primer. I love this primer. It's green, it takes away the red tones in my skin, and it makes my skin feel silky smooth. Watch me put this primer all over my face now. Wow, clean, glossy skin. Slay, good base. Next, I'm gonna dig into this old Morphe palette I have because I do not have an eyebrow pencil. And I'm gonna use a dark shade of brown and absolutely destroy my eyebrows with this Sigma, I don't know if it's a lip brush or what it is, but we're gonna put this literally everywhere and it's gonna look crazy. Morning, this does look horrible at first, I promise. I promise, please trust the process. Grab a spoolie, brush them out, please. You have to brush them out. And you're going to be stuck with the bushiest, messiest looking eyebrows ever, but you're just going to clean them up with a Q-tip and this micellar water. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Wham and bam, that is what they look like when they are cleaned up. 2016 eyebrows, yes. Now clean those bad boys up with some concealer. I used the e.l.f. 16 hour coverage one, but basically yeah, just clean them up, line them, make them a bit smaller. That is what they look like. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Don't mention it. As you can see, I was having some trouble blending. Honestly, I just use my fingers for this as long as they're clean. Next, I'm gonna grab my foundation. I got this from TJ Maxx and it is the Becca foundation. To blend it in, I just use my beauty blender. Uh, not a real one, just the dollar store one. I put it directly onto the beauty blender and I know it wastes a lot of product. However, it gets the job done and it looks flawless. Look at the difference. Look at how well that e.l.f. primer covers up the redness in my skin as well. Make sure not to miss your eyes, your inner corners of your nose and your neck. And don't forget the nose. Next, I go in with this Revlon concealer. However, I use it as contour and I look like a camel or an alpaca. Basically, I do the exact same thing I've been doing since I've been 16 and I just contour my face. Blend that sucker out good. It's not completely blended. However, this is what it will look like for a bit. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe palette again with the same brush I used for those eyebrows. We're gonna take this red shade and we're gonna put it underneath my waterline and kind of wing it up like eyeliner. As you can see here, I am doing that. I'm kind of just winging it. I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to this stuff, um, but I know red is my color, so. I did the other eye off camera and this is what it looks like. With the same Morphe palette, I'm gonna take a dark brown shade and I'm going to make a little eyeliner, smudgy brown winged eyeliner thing. As you guys can see, this is the look with it. There is some fallout on my face. However, we will take care of that right now. This bandana is slipping off my head and annoying me so much right now. And bye to the bandana. Now, I love this concealer. The only thing I have to say about it is it dries super quick. Again, why is my mouth doing that? I always wait until I'm done my eyeshadow to conceal just in case I have fallout that it will go away with this. Here I'm kind of showing you, you can blend everything like normal. However, I always blend my nose with my finger as it's more precise. Next, I'm gonna take the littlest bit of Kat Von D powder I have left and go over it all my face, basically until it doesn't feel sticky anymore. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. It smells so good. It is my favorite one and I've been using it forever. Put it the same places that you put the contour on basically and just to accentuate it a little bit. Now, this next step might seem weird, but I'm gonna take this blush palette and I'm gonna put it on my lips. I know, I know it's weird. However, trust the process guys, trust the process. I'm gonna take this clear gloss and I'm gonna put it right over top and move my lips around, I don't know what it's really called, until I get the right consistency. I then decided I was gonna take this white eyeliner and do the four little dots. I've never done it before, but I was like, oh, we're gonna try it today. However, decided not to do this on camera because I cannot figure it out. That's what it looks like. It's actually super cute. We're gonna take this same brush that I've been using for everything and make these little indents in my lips. I don't know if this is a gamer girl effect or what, but I do like the look of it. Next, we're gonna curl those lashes. Not that my lashes are long or do anything. And then we're gonna use this mascara and just line them with mascara, the bottom and the tops. Here is what my face looks like though, right now. Next up is I gotta do my hair. I don't know how to do hair besides brush it. I just got a straightener and this was the scariest moment of my life. Not how I wanted it to go. As you can see, I'm pretty confused here, but I ended up liking the look of it in the end. This is what it looks like. I did have this texture powder thing and it does help lots. I put way too much in my hand. But this is the final look. Tell me guys how you like it. I don't know. I haven't done my makeup in a long time, but it got me feeling cute. Thanks for watching this little voiceover weird video of mine. I appreciate it so much and thanks for the support.